Hi, uh, well, I've got myself a Commodore VIC-20, one of the uh, 80s 8-bit computers, and um, unfortunately it doesn't work at the moment. Uh, let me do the switch, nothing happening there. I mean, luckily the cat's found a use for the box, um, but yeah, nothing going on here. So, first step is to get out the volt multimeter and uh, see what's happening with the transformer. We should be getting 5 volts and 9 volts out of this. And I suspect we're getting nothing at the moment. So. I had a look at the uh, pinout diagram on uh, Google and yeah, that's okay. Let's get in again 1. Point Two out of that one. One point one eight, and I suspect no, nothing out of that one. Nothing out of that one. Yep, one point two, and nothing else. Okay, so now we're going to have a look if we can get inside this beast. Apparently they're all filled up with resin inside, so you can't really get to the components even when you get the cover off and there's there's no screws in it, so uh, hmm, could be fun. Alright, that was uh, a lot of effort. I managed to get the cover off and uh, yeah, take a look at this. It's absolutely chocker with resin stuff. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to get to the, the board. And have a look at the components um, without breaking it. Yeah, great design that. I think I'm going to be building another power supply. Uh, I've ordered some voltage regulators off of uh, eBay, um, so maybe I have to wait for those to arrive. So it looks like the board is held in place by this resin stuff. Um, like on the last quarter of down the board it's sort of just stuck there so I'm thinking if I desolder these connections these four connections on there and then maybe I'll be able to work a craft knife or something under there and, and free it okay so uh, I managed to get the board free of the resin and uh, there was another three pins there out to desolder which I'm guessing is probably a voltage regulator um, and here we've got Four diodes, a couple of capacitors, a couple of resistors, so I guess that's a full bridge rectifier. Um, and yeah, don't think there's anything else there. Okay, so the next stage is to test the diodes on this uh, power supply board. We've got a diode test function on the multimeter around here with the diode symbol. these, see what we get. Okay, getting a read in there. 7.4, 6 point something, okay. Uh, nothing on that one. Six. Okay, yeah, we're getting a reading. Four point five seven there. Last one. Nothing on that one. Okay, so it looks like we've got a couple of dead diodes. Those two. That's what we've got. So a quick search of eBay, and we found the diodes we need. We need BY two five ones. And uh, that's pretty good. One pound seventy for twenty. Where they're coming from? Oh, it's Greece. Okay, I'll get those ordered up and uh, get them fitted. So a couple of weeks later, and we've got our package from Greece. Let's have to send the right ones. Looks similar. Yep. 
two five ones. Excellent. All right, we'll get those two fitted now. So I'll take the old diodes out and put the new ones in. Just put a bit of tape over to hold them in place and get the legs round. So I get all these soldered in and uh, we put it back in the case. So soldering done. And uh, it wasn't too bad. And we'll uh, in there now. So next bit, get it back in the case. Okay, so now we're going to test it. Plugged it in, all wired back up. Get the multimeter on the output pins and see what we get. There we go, 5 volts or 5.16. That is one fixed VIC 20 power supply. So, after testing the power supply, we know it's got 5 volts. Does it actually work with the Commodore? Put it in. have power. Now next thing is to hook it up to the telly and see if the actual machine works. But we've got a light, so it's a good start. I've hooked the Commodore up to a TV. Uh, unfortunately it's still not going. Uh, we get a signal, let me switch it on. Um, but just a back screen. So more work to do I think. <laughs> 